this show series, I've had a chance to interview many experts who are internet millionaires and authorities within their subject matter of building their online businesses. But we haven't had a chance to speak to someone who's been based in the region and building online businesses for some time until now. So I have a great pleasure of interviewing Mr. Khalid Al Zanki from the same company name based in Kuwait. Yep. Welcome, Thank Mr. Khalid, so to the show. Thank you so much. appreciate it. You've been involved in this business now since 1995 with the internet and then 2005 actively with your current business. Mm -hmm. Tell us a bit more about why you are probably classed as the number one expert when it comes to online businesses in the region. Well, I have different approach of running the business. The number one approach is I don't consider it as an online business. I consider it as a business. Okay. okay if you consider important it, distinction. Eh? Yeah, it, it is important because most of the people they believe and they think if if they have an online business, it's only online business. Uh, but in the real world, no, it's it's a business with an online component. If you treat it in this way, most of the people with their mindset they would treat it differently than just having a website and trying to make sales online mm -hmm. so that's actually one of the key distinguish uh, factors of my success in the online business world is how actually I integrate both online activity and what I do offline together and to have a maximum profit and exposure too. Now you've been extremely successful I mean I understand with our research you started off with what $45,000 investment with one of your businesses well, yeah that's back in 2005 uh, Turn it into a what two and a half, three million dollar business. It, it, it's it's challenging yeah. because when I heard about internet marketing back in '94, which actually with the boom of dot com, and I was you know what, the, the, I couldn't believe it. One million dollar a year, two million dollars a year, of starting with minimal budget and online. It's nothing offline, and the, those guys. I thought in the beginning it's a hype. Honestly, I thought it's a hype. But after actually monitoring of what's going on in 95, 96, 97, getting to know exactly what's going on behind the scenes, reading mm. more about internet marketing, online yep. businesses, I get to know more uh, information about the insights mm. and the tactics and the strategies. So what did you implement? Then? Tell us some of the, just a few of the steps that, that you took. Well, one of the things I actually I used is applying the product launch tech techniques back when I started my own business in 2005. I I started a business which is Leaders Enterprises, which focus into leadership development, mostly for corporates and individuals in okay. Kuwait. Mm -hmm. And I started with a budget that you just mentioned, $45,000. And honestly, before actually having the business license from the Minister of Commerce in Kuwait, I started online promoting what we do ahead maybe 90 days before actually having the actual license. Okay. So we prepared the foundation mm -hmm. and people get to know us before getting the business license, before even opening the office. Mm -hmm. And when we opened the office, most of the people heard about us and actually started communicating with us and actually generated sales and revenue for the business. So it was a quite important is, it's, it, you, you don't have to do everything one time. You okay. have to take it a step by step. Because a lot of people could get confused, couldn't they? They, they see so many tools and technologies out yeah. there. Different uh, people saying different things of what works for them. And they think, oh, I need to do all of that. And yeah. it doesn't happen. And they will be overwhelmed. Yeah. Because there are, there, are, there are a lot of tools. What shall I use? Facebook, Twitter, YouTube. Yeah. And there is another 40, 50 social media websites too. Yeah. Uh, okay, what shall I do? I have a blog on Word, WordPress. Or I have a website you know you ask me right now to have a, a viral video which requires me more of video resources and editing mm. and and cameramen and behind the scenes and it requires special skills and technology of special course. skills in different fields but w this is what I would say to people you know what to start with the first step you don't have to implement everything one time mm. so what are, what are some of the phases. basic steps or things that a small business owner could could do then to uh, leverage of online first, and the internet. First of all, they have to really find out what actually set them apart in doing business offline before going online. And this is very important. Once you know how you are different in the real world, then you can take it and carry the same vision and the objective from the offline to the online. I think it's not complicated. It's easy because if you are in the business and you mm -hmm. want to move online, you should understand what are you doing Let's offline. brainstorm together, Carly. Let's yeah, take okay. these flowers. Okay. okay. Yeah. So you have two companies, mm -hmm. both providing pretty much the same product. Okay. And now we're going to take this uh, company that provides uh, fake flowers for okay. the hotel industry, uh -huh. and we're going to turn it into online. Okay. Well, what would you be looking for when you say it's okay. unique. If, I, if I'm, yeah. I'm going to look into this type of business, I would go and check the competitors. 
what they what they are offering number one and are they available online yes or no if they are available online you know if I'm in the place as a business owner I would go and check how they are doing business offline and online not only online and then I would say okay so like a secret agent yeah like a secret agent oh well it's it's online it's so you can get everything about who's talking about you online by using for example Google Alerts mm -hmm. so you would actually spot what's going on all around you in the business and then you get to know what the competitors are doing online and offline and then you'll find one spot that they are missing okay and they are not offering maybe a customer service maybe a certain of flowers that you have it's different okay, yep. maybe the design of the bouquet itself it's different mm. maybe the personal touch with the client is different it's, it's there's a lot of things that you can make you different than the rest okay, so now now let's say we've identified that the competitors don't do a certain type of flower uh -huh. okay and we've seen a gap Good. what's next next right you have to decide right now to let's say first of all you have to set a budget for this project it's a business with an online component so you have to set a certain budget for the online don't go to know what the domain name will cost me fifteen dollars twenty dollars and the hosting if I go with three dollars a month I will be so happy yeah you will be so happy if you pay one th or three dollars a month for a hosting but guess what you won't be happy because this server has not only one thousand clients into it they have millions of clients so your server connection sure. the website will be affected mm -hmm. so the domain name the name of the website is very important because it should be a domain name that people can memorize. So let's, let's say so. this example, let's say if this company was specializing in flowers just for the hotel industry, mm -hmm. so what, what would you, uh, would, you, would it be flowershotels.com, uh, flowersinhotels.com, what, what well, would be? It, uh, it, it could be, you, you know, using hotels as, as part of the domain name, but I don't recommend it because you may have different type of businesses later on, not sure. hotels, maybe okay. offices. Okay. But if you set yourself only for hotels, you are going deep inside the niche market and try to be very specialized, okay. which is something good. But again, the brand name should not be involved some of the keywords that you use. Mm -hmm. Something related to flowers, yes, it could be. Okay. So the main name is important. So let's say once someone gone through their brand identity and got an idea of how they want to position themselves mm -hmm. and the name, they've now got the domain, they've okay. got the basic services, mm -hmm. they understand what's unique about them, what's next? The website itself. Yeah. How are they going to design it? Okay, what 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 strategy in mind they have or or objective of having the website is is it only feel for e-commerce where they sell or it's like a corporate style unfortunately mm -hmm. most of the website that I have seen in the Middle East by studying even my clients websites all of them I consider them as a brochures yeah and even of the companies they, they think they are having an e-commerce website but it's not mm -hmm. they are using it only for payments so it's not a fully integrated mm -hmm. online commerce website or shopping uh, shopping website. Mm -hmm. So they are lacking the objective initially, why they want to have it online. Is it just to promote? That's number one. Number two, once you know exactly your objective, then you're going to design the website. And the website, once you design it, you don't want to have it just a flashy, good-looking good website. Mm -hmm. You have to make sure that your website is easy to navigate, easy to, to find the information inside. And it has to achieve a result. Achieve it. Yeah certain results yeah. yeah it's important if I have let's say the flower shop I would take the photos by using a normal regular camera and put it if I'm doing it as a business I will mm -hmm. hire a professional photographer for example to take fo a certain nice photos and put them in the website mm -hmm. because this is what they see the customers and, and the website I okay. believe this is the, the second thing to do is having a nice so let's say the site's website. all done it's looking good uh -huh. designs good mm -hmm. What's, what's, what's a key thing? We haven't got time to go through all of it, and, uh, but what would be a key thing that has to happen in that site that you've seen consistently work for your clients? Well, I guess most of them, they are missing one thing. They have a website and they don't launch it. Launching for them is website on the internet. But this is where you're an expert, yeah? yeah. Product so, launches. Yeah, product launches, okay. where you take the product or the service they offer and launch it online or offline, and sometimes online and offline together, and try to get people to know your website. Of course. To be yeah. on front. You know, you can use Google AdWords. You can use different strategies to get some traffic from different mm -hmm. sites. Like viral marketing. Viral marketing. You can mm -hmm. use videos as well, part okay. of that as well. So it's, it is important to get the traffic in. But the big challenge for most of those websites, they mm -hmm. get the traffic. 
but they don't get data. Mm. So uh, that's why in product launches we focus on building a list. Right. Okay. Building a list is very important. Where you communicate with the prospects and have diff having different lists, less for customers, less for prospects, less of uh, VIB customers. You, you communicate with them totally different, okay. and then building a relationship with this list. Okay. It would generate more revenue for you. It's no matter the size of the list. If I have six thousand or seven thousand uh, email addresses or customers or prospect in the list. Mm -hmm. Sometimes 100, 300, 500 email addresses or contacts or clients on the list may outperform wow. 6,000, 7,000. So again, it's... Is that because of the quality of the relationships The quality them? of the relationship. It's okay. not like we are the corporate so-and-so. Mm. They know you per person. They know you per mm. name. And they know exactly what you do mm. and how you do business. So they, Khalid, I could probably speak to you person. for hours and hours, but we, we're, we're going to be out of time soon. Uh, uh, one last question I have for mm. you is, uh, what is your opinion on, on future technologies, trends, that you can see happening? Where do you see uh, the whole online business in a few years' time? In, well, this, in the region? In here. this region, actually, mm. it's, it's growing. Uh, people get getting to know the importance of internet marketing, user, de you know, we, you know, we are fortunate to have uh, events and forums like the Unlimited Power Online Seminars in here in the region where people mm. will really get the knowledge and, and experience even from the outside world. Maybe, sure. let's say, in the West and bring it over here to the Middle East and try to adopt. Some strategies may work, some need some adoption. Mm. Uh, some strategy may work for my business, maybe it doesn't work for your business. You have to adopt and you have to test. Mm. So it's not like you take it, you plug it, it's going to work like magic. No. Yeah. You, you must have a business sense of developing well, Before it. you tell me uh, your last few ideas with about the future, we're just going to go to another segment and see you in action at the Unlimited Power Online oh, Conference. Okay, cool. So uh, enjoy that. We'll be back in a few seconds. This is 100 dirham. All of you familiar with? Okay. Who would buy it for 10 dirhams? Really? Don't, don't you want it? Ten dollars. I saw ten dirhams. Yeah. Do you have ten? I will make it five. All right. He's a good negotiator. Thank you. What I did? Crashing offer. Didn't think twice. Wow, I'm having great value of this product and service. I want it right now. Give it to me. Irresistible offer. People are doing business not because of you, not because of your business, but because of your offer. So your offer is very important. So welcome back. Hopefully you enjoyed that little segment from uh, Mr. Khalid there presenting at the event. So final words from you. What would be any other tips that you've got for a newcomer on the online world well, or internet world? I have a final, you know, the last advice I would give is, you know, online businesses, it's coming to the region. You have to be part of it right now. B believe me, I've been, in the, you know, I've been in the technology, I've been in the internet since 95. I've, I've been watching mm. what's happening since then. Yes. And uh, that time I was telling people, you know what guys, you have to think about having a website mm. and having an email address at that time. Right now it's different. Right now doing business online, not just having an email addresses and online websites. Because most of the people right now, they're using the internet. Mm. So how you capitalize on the opportunities available online, it's amazing. So it can take you to the totally to the to a new level of business. So what you're saying is just start. If you haven't started, start. Just to start, yeah. yeah and maybe, if you have started, maybe go to the when, next stage. Yeah, yeah. and take, you know you can develop it. You know, take take the project as phases mm -hmm. in the online business model. Take a phase one with the minimum resources that you have with That's the budget, great. and then develop it to the next level and mm -hmm. start just taking care of it, build it, and try to run it. You know, in a way that really will generate a profit for your business, now, not just now, having a website over the internet. Now, talk about profit for your business. You, you've, your, your company mm -hmm. deals with many different types of clients, mm -hmm. whether they're small, whether they're startup. You've dealt with large organizations, mm -hmm. diverse. Yep. Now, whoever's watching this, if anybody feels, look, I'm in the region, uh, here in the Gulf region, and I need help, mm -hmm. and I want to take my business to the next level, and they want to get hold of you, uh -huh. where do they go? What's your main website address? Well, my win, my, my win uh, website address is zanki.com, A-L-Z-A-N-K-I.com. It's my, my, the, the name of the business. And they can check my blog as well, which is zanki.com slash blog. Okay, so, so they can be on the screen now. Could you just mention it once more, the blog uh, uh, site? Uh, it's zanki.com 
slash blog. Okay, so that will come up now on the yeah. screen, and uh, we'll make sure so people, people get in touch sure, with you. Yeah. And make sure you sign up on my list for future updates, too. Yeah, why not? I'm sure we will. You've got a wealth of knowledge. You've obviously been doing this for a while, so we look forward to speaking to you again in the future. Kai, thanks Same, so much thank for you joining so much us. for such a great interview. Really thank appreciate you so much. That.